morning. Uh, my name is Fiona Nyamtoro. I'm the National Female Youth Member of Parliament and also the Chairperson of the Parliamentary Forum on Youth Affairs. We are here today to convene ourselves for the National Youth Parliament, the sixth in the making since its inception in 2018. The National Youth Parliament is a civic space that is one of the initiatives of us expanding impactful participation of young people across the country in governance and democratic processes. So we shall be having 250 participants from across the country, from all divides, young people from the National Youth Council, from the Uganda National Students Association, from religious sects, from civil society, in partnership with Faraja Africa, the Parliamentary Youth Forum on Youth Affairs on Friday the 11th of August 2023. So we look forward to hearing the voices of young people being amplified, hearing their ideas, being centralized in government planning and processes, and all this at the end will inform a petition that will be presented to the Speaker of Parliament on the 11th. Young people always look forward to this event, and in particular, I want to thank Faraja Africa Foundation for this initiative. It is one that has made our work as youth members of Parliament very easy, because we get to have voices channeled directly from the grassroots to the center. Having young people speak for themselves having young people participate in affairs that affect them, not just at local level, but to be able to bring them to the center of parliament is one great way that we are promoting democracy in this country. I thank you so much. Yes, yes, we do have very many issues. Uh, if you have been following, parliament has gone through a process. We've had a number of motions, and some of them are even still under... Uh, some of them are still in the pipeline of different committees. The previous youth parliaments are the, are the birth of the national school health policy. We also have uh, the climate change policy that was reviewed as an involvement of uh, young people as agents of climate change and very many other processes that are having young people involved in different spaces. The local content was also the local content bill was also an initiative that was started in discussions of the National Youth Parliament. So we look forward to progressing more as we have young people shape the legislative process of this country. The youth Parliament, of course, has been an initiative for the past five years, um, past six years. And one of the key things that we have uh, endeavoured is to ensure that our members of parliament have been able to interact with our young people. It is not necessarily a structure, as our member said, it is a, an advocacy space. And we have worked together tirelessly with the European Union, uh, the, 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 the GIZ, uh, the, the German government, uh, BMZ, and of course uh, together with uh, Action Aid, WFD, and among other partners. It's been happening within the other different regions. That's in West Nile, uh, also in uh, Choli sub-region, and also in uh, Bugisu, Teso, uh, Bukedi sub-region, Busoga sub-region, and Central sub-region in Luero. One of the key things we believe in is amplifying young people's voices, not speaking for them, but rather giving them the platform to be able to speak and be able to advocate for um, their particular issues that they are facing. I'd like to also extend our vote of thanks to the Parliamentary Forum for Youth Affairs through our Chair, Honorable Nyamtoro, for being able to actually not only leave the voices and the petition uh, in the Parliament, but also tabling it on the floor of Parliament. I'd also like to extend our gratitude to the Speaker for graciously, and the Clerk graciously granting us a safe space to advocate for youth matters and youth issues. We all know the challenges that we face, uh, including unemployment and so on. Therefore, this year's theme is going to be focusing on green skilling for youth towards sustainable, a sustainable world, understanding the challenges of climate change. We all have witnessed, we have 
gone, it, it has never been heard that Uganda would go about 35 to 40 days without rain, but we witnessed it happen recently. So it's a high time and it's a wake up call to every young person out there to arise and take this particular initiative much more seriously. Green skilling is important. If you don't have the opportunity within the different organizational frameworks, you can be able to also use it through access of internet services. But also it's a call upon government development partners to be able to um, put resources and also create opportunities for young people to be able to get skills and to be able to uh, amplify their voices through different spaces. The Youth Parliament is just going to be a platform for us to raise our voices, but let it not stop there. Let the conversation continue, leaving no one behind. Thank you.